Let's talk cooling. Hey, I'm Greg. Welcome to 3D Make It. Today I'm here to talk to you about cooling. I had a few problems on my uh, printer and I wanted to tweak it, so I thought I would try one of the new fan duct systems out there and I found one that I think you're going to love. Bantam Design. They have great designs here. Uh, they have an extruder and a fan system. So this is the fan system. It's a wonderful system, variety of different mounts uh, for different leveling technologies here. Uh, you've got a plethora of choice for different types of fans. Uh, this one here in particular is for the CR10. I really think that you're, you're gonna like this. Elliot HT has made a version that will fit on the Chiron and his is for the V6 Volcano but the nice thing is the any cubic uh, end has the same uh, length as the Volcano so this will actually work uh, with the stock Chiron mount. Okay, so I was having some uh, cooling issues, as you can see. Not a very nice Cali Cat. So I started investigating to try to figure out what the heck's going on. Now, I had just recently changed my hot end so I thought it was something to do with that and I realized that by taking off the metal cover um, I lost a little bit of extra cooling because the fan was giving a little bit extra cooling out of the bottom and so that caused some problems. The two stock fans that I tried, so this is the um, slightly modified stock cooling to kind of get a little more cooling. So that one, this one, and this Halo one with this standard cooling fan all printed like uh, this. So a little bit better once I adjust the stuff, but not that much better. The, oh, sorry, all printed like this. Okay, so very close to the original. Then I tried the next mount with the with the same stock fan. Unfortunately, I gave that one to David, so I, I can't show you what that one looks like. So this is the uh, original cooling from these guys. Uh, and you can see pretty rough still not uh, perfect on the edges. Now all these were sliced with the same profile. So this was with the standard 40 millimeter by 10 or whatever it is, 4010, uh, with um, the Banta mount. So a little bit better but still not good enough. So then we went up to the um, standard Vanta mount. This is again for the CR10. 
Uh, it's got the smaller uh, opening on it. Slides right on like that, screws in into the mount, very easy to exchange. So this is the one I got off of that. And compared to the original, So improving, but still not, not great. That was with a, a 50-15. So then I up the ante a little bit more. Went for the big guy. Dual 50-15s. Again, same opening. This is the standard one that you get. I'm sure it would line up fine with the uh, CR10 um, mount, but the openings just didn't line up right. So this one, if we look at it, um, got a little bit better. Here it is. So it's still pretty good. See, much better. But not perfect. So that was with the dual. So I had lots of cooling. But still, I don't believe it was in the right spot. So then I took it upon myself to modify the mount. So this one has the, if you look, it has a larger opening. It's, it's quite a bit, the profile, if I put them side by side, it's quite a bit taller but it still fits on and all the mods still work. Now again, still has only a single fan, but the cooling, much better. Not perfect, but getting closer. So then, I refined the mount, added another tab so that it holds it on. I modified this. The final version is actually on the printer, so I had to modify this so the fan would fit nicely on it. Um, and now it's even better. But I wasn't satisfied with that because, yeah, it's better, but. This is what we started with. This is what we got to. But well, this is what I wanted. Look at that. Perfect. So I've tweaked it some more and whatnot. And now with the new design, again, this new design, tweaked a little bit more, refined. And mounted on the printer, I now get nice 45 degree cooling. And it's still only a standard 50 15 fan. So here is uh, my final configuration. Now, um, as you can see, um, from what was originally on the his website, um, this is a little bit different. The original mount is this one here. It's a single 50-15 with one arm. I've added a second arm. It's also significantly narrower. So if we look at this is the newer one. You can see the I've actually uh, increased the width by a good centimeter, and the openings you can see is quite a bit larger. This one is a previous prototype. So there was a lot of prototyping, a lot of design changes along the way, but I did get. A result that I was very happy with. The modular mounting uh, is great. 
I think he's done a wonderful job and the community modding it so that it could mount on different printers is great. Um, it's a lot easier to uh, do than some of the other fan mounts. It just pops on with two screws. You can quickly switch it out. Uh, I have like seven different iterations that I quickly put on and switched without uh, really taking off my leveling system and whatnot. So um, overall, I give it two thumbs up. I really think that uh, the community uh, is going to like this. Uh, I really think we should support this guy. He, he designs wonderful products. Uh, I know David is looking at uh, reviewing his um, extruder uh, setup that he has. Um, looks like a nice uh, unit. I think I'm going to uh, print it off and try it on my ANET. Um, but yeah, I really think that uh, this is a great uh, system and uh, I think everyone should try it out. So leave your comments down below. I'll make sure I update all the uh, show notes with uh, where you can get uh, this design, where you can get the Thingiverse model for the Chiron, uh, and uh, various. I will see if I can get uh, authorization to post my modification that works with the Chiron on Thingiverse. Uh, if I get the thumbs up from him, uh, I will be posting that too. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you do, like, subscribe, buy us coffee. See you next time.